Number three, Watford two. This is my player ratings after our win. To breathe, but that's alright. Hush. A decent result to end off the season on a high after a terrible season in in the league and. Um, yeah, I guess that's gonna, it. It didn't change anything apart f apart from we moved te from tenth to eighth, and, and we finished above Burnley. Yeah, it's kind of a party, but um, yeah, I guess all our focus on the FA Cup. I was surprised about the lineup which Mikanta did, um, but you know, I think it worked because Abamian was obviously. I was so gutted when he didn't get get his goal that would have got got all the boot again for him. So. That was that was annoying, but I just think at the end of the game, um, at the last twenty minutes, we we were just really unprofessional, if you know what I mean, because we were, I don't know if it's unprofe unprofessional because I can understand it because I think every Arsenal fan understands. I really wanted a, a Bamian to get uh, his golden boot, but yeah, we, we for, for that last twenty minutes, we is at one point where Eddie Nketiah will run through one on one the keeper, and he decided to pass to Bamian who's all the way over there. Like just shoot. You don't need to. I I I I understand though. I do understand, but yeah. Uh, that that nearly cost us, didn't it? That nearly cost us the game. Uh, if it would really would have mattered, but for for Watford it did because um yeah, because obviously they needed I think two more goals for them to stay up, and they hope needed West Ham to get another goal. So yeah. Um, so yeah, let me run through the game. We start off in the first 30 seconds very well. Uh, penalty on Lacazette, which was a clear and obvious penalty. I don't know why it took so long. I have no idea why it took so long. It was a clear and obvious penalty. And Aubameyang sets up, well, obviously, sc obviously scores. And we go 1-0 up inside the first two minutes. Um, and then after that, we uh, Watford done well after we, after we got that first goal. I think they were they were causing us some problems with uh, Ismail Assar, who who's a very good player as well. So... And even Danny Welbeck was causing us problems. So, yeah, uh, it took us to, to, to the second goal, which was Kieran Tierney. I, I, I was surprised when he got on the score sheet because I thought, I, I thought Aubameyang would just, I don't know, I thought Aubameyang would just hit it, but he decided to pass it to Tierney, and Tierney just get, gets his first Arsenal goal. Um, then we have uh, Aubameyang. Tierney again with the assist, and it's a fantastic throw-in. And you could tell that they've been working on that in training because the fact that uh, who who come up for it, Rob Holding come up, didn't he? He he, he come up and he was in the box. So there's de definitely something they've worked on, and it's a great throw-in. And a Bamian with the uh, overhead kick was it really an overhead kick? Bicycle? I'm not too sure, but it, it was it was a good goal. But a Bamian only scores tap-ins apparently. But uh, yeah, um, so we go through and up. And you know, I'm thinking at this point, all right, game's done. But then Watford decided they get a penalty. David Luiz once again, what's he doing? That is, he's like fifth penalty apparently he's conceded this season. Man City, uh, Liverpool. Today, uh, I think there's two, two more as well. It, it might, might only be three, but what is he doing again? He just dives in, and it's like he was in a red card. He really is. Because it, it, if it is red card, then the Arsenal fans will be in chat. We will all be in like. Will be like oh so you know mad but yeah Troy Deeney scores get, uh, gets one back from Watford and then we go in half time three one second half comes out and once again we're sloppy uh, really poor second half Danny Welbeck scores against us as well which I was I knew I I, I just knew that he would it is it, it written wasn't it is it written I, I knew he scored and it's three two um, and then after that they obviously needed two more goals um, to stay up. But we defended well, and that, that's pretty much the whole entire game. So decent win, um, but it did, didn't matter at all. And uh, let's get right into the player rating. Starting off in goal, Emilio Martinez. Uh, he made another, he made another good save, fantastic save again. Uh, th this guy has been been doing very well. I will be doing another video about doing my season player ratings for the Premier League uh, after the FA Cup. So I'll be doing my season player ratings, and he's going to be one of them who deserves a higher mark because he, he done really well. So yeah, for the for the the game's performance, because he had two goals, I'm gonna give him a seven. I thought he done all right. Um, then we move on to the back four because we did go back to the back four, and we start off with. 
Uh, let's go to the left back, Kieran Tierney. I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, got his goal. And uh, once again, a good performance from him. And um, he's, 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 he's looking a really good player. And I can't wait for next season. So, yeah, so the centre backs, we had Rob Holding. Uh, I'm going to give him a 7. Uh, he done alright. He wasn't. It, it wasn't a fantastic performance, but it was good enough. Um, he started off slow, but he does come into the game a lot, so I'm going to give him a 7. Louise, I'm going to give a 5. The fact that he gave away the penalty, probably one of our poorest players as well. Didn't he? It was just it was just like because he gave away the penalty and could have got sent off, that's why he's going to get a low mark. Then we move on to Ainsley, make the Niles. I'm going to give Ainsley a 7 as well. Um, maybe even an 8. I think Ainsley and Tierney have done well, so yeah, I'm going to give Ainsley an 8. I thought um, once again it was a good performance from him, and uh, he's shown to McArthur that he should start against um, uh, Chelsea in the FA Cup final. And then we move on to the three midfielders. We have Joe Willock. I'm going to give him a 7 as well. Or oh, maybe a 6 because he wasn't in that game that much, but he, he did work hard, so I'm going to give him a 6. Uh, then we have Lucas. No, Torreira come on the sub, didn't he? Oh my god. Um, then we have Xhaka, which is surprising that he started, you know. But uh, Xhaka, I'm going to give Xhaka a 7. Same thing was Willock. Um, I thought he worked hard and he, it, it was just a decent performance from him. Then we had Danny Sabahs, I'm going to give him a 7 as well. The midfield didn't do a lot. I mean, Sabahs was probably. I don't know. Sabahs, it. it don't get me wrong, he, he did do well, it's just he was, he was a bit quiet, so that's why I'm going to give pretty much all midfield a 7. Uh, and then we move on to the front three. Eddie and Katie, I'll start off with him. Uh, no, he come on for the sub, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I've really lost it. Um, Lac Lacazette, Lacazette obviously won the penalty. I'm going to give Lacazette a 7, I thought he, he was a decent performance from him. Um, so yeah, Lacazette's going to get a 7. Uh, and then we have obviously Aubameyang going to get a 9. Uh, man of the match got his two goals and so got it that he couldn't get his uh, last one. Pepe, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna give Pepe a six. I thought he was, I, I thought he was quite bad. If I'm being honest, um, I've got, I, I've got to be honest because, you know, uh, PA did, 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 didn't do a lot really. I mean, he did have a good through, through, uh, like moments, but yeah. Let's move on to the subs. Reese Nelson give a five. The only one I'm actually gonna Torreira five. Uh, the only one I'm actually gonna mark is. Uh, or give them a higher mark is uh, Eddie Nketiah because I thought when he come on, yes, he 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 had that chance where he's one on one, but yeah, he's definitely one of the brightest subs. So I'm gonna give uh, him a six and the rest of the subs five. Mikel Anteta, I'm gonna give Mikel Anteta an eight out of ten. We we did we did get a win. It didn't really matter, and um, yeah, decent performance from him. And now we move on to Chelsea in the FA Cup final. Obviously, that, that that's a big one. And come on, you got to just come on. Let's just beat Chelsea. 